And welcome back, Scrap Mechanics, to Scrap Mechanic with your Scrap Mechanics, uh, the Mahula Brothers. With it today, uh, I want to build for you the, uh, as you can see in the title, it probably says it already. Um, oh, that's the only nemesis for this vehicle is uh, trees. This is the anti sway. As you can see right there, it is one of the anti-sway uh, buggy carts. Uh, you can think of it as a go-kart or you can think of it as a buggy, whichever way you want to think about it. But I'm only going to build for you the framework. Uh, however you want to aesthetically build it uh, is up to you guys. So this is the single-seater. I made it a little bit longer than the two-seater because... Uh, well, I didn't want it to... At the speeds, it kept going forward. And there are two ways to build the suspension. As you can see here, uh, the suspension on this one is... Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. I'm not going to call it something else, but then uh, it is... Spare tire. Um, it is uh, frog-legged. Frog-legged? Frog legged, bow legged. Ooh, that's heavy. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, where that this one is not, the suspension constantly stays straight. It depends on how you want your performance um, and how the car is built. So these are two different designs. I will show you both uh, only through one car, though, through one build. But this is your two seater or my two seater. With it, as you can see, that the uh, the suspension in the back is frog legged. Uh, I did up the speed on this model, on the motor in this one, because on the other one, the way the other one is, is that uh, it. The way this one is. Oops. Let's try to get there. Yeah, this is one thing about this game. This game will make you lazy walking. Uh, it will make you too lazy for walking. So if you notice here that the the motor is wasn't up all the way, this one now that it's up all the way. The problem with this is that it's a little bit lighter than the the two seater, so uh, the front end will pick up a lot more. And uh, what I notice on this one is that it 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 bounces a little bit too much because it is lighter. So I could have weighed it down, but uh, I didn't feel like it. And you notice that? Did you see that? How how slow the front end came down? Well, that's because of how we took advantage of the suspension glitch. Now, the suspension glitch, everyone uses the suspension glitch in this game uh, to auto-balance. Now, the way I'm using the suspension glitch on here is that it doesn't necessarily auto-balance because it doesn't use sensors but it uses uh, the actual suspension on the machine that's already existing that you need and you don't add and we didn't add any more so right now all the suspension on these buggies is just four it's not six or eight it's actually four and using the ones that you already see that are actually being used by the car itself for its own regular stability okay and what it does here is that it did, it does exactly what it's supposed to do with that. It's anti-sway, so that as you saw there, with the front end of the other car, it took uh, against the physics. It took actually much longer for the front end to come down. Well, the same thing happens with with these buggies. Is that uh, if you happen to hit a situation where that the buggy will have to tilt to uh, to respond to the actual natural physics. Uh, the way it's physically configured right now, oh, see that? The way the buggy is physically configured right now is that uh, the tilt on the buggy will be very slow so that you can respond to it much quicker. So let's go ahead and build that. So the way I like to build it is first I want to build the, uh, the cockpit. Cockpit! Okay, so uh, basically basically what we're gonna do here is build you let's do a couple things first let's do the basics let's do the chair so we're gonna make a two-seater so the first thing is the driver's seat 
Now, I'm not doing this any specific size yet, but I'll show you in a minute what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, we're not going to make this super wide. But, oh, no, wrong chair. We want the passenger chair. Passenger chair. Passenger chair has to be the passenger, so it gets a lot of leg room. And then there you go. <clears throat> now, with the way you see this, is that the framework itself can stay this thin. You can trim it down or make it wider, but uh, to show the principle of the buggy, I will make it just as wide as you can see here. Now, um, as you can see here, we made it much wider where that the body itself cut in but uh, I'm going to make it this way. You, you can make it any dimension you want, but what you do here is you make the cockpit first, and then the next important part is actually uh, these round, roundish brackets, the brackets that will hold the additional suspension or what I like to call the sway bars. Okay, so let's do this uh, sway bars will be sway bars will go there how about that that's cool we'll make the sway bars there whether you're just gonna make the brackets for the sway bars make the holes for the uh, uh, for the supports and then that is that is it. So from here you do the same thing. What you're going to do here is you're going to make one square. What I like to do here is I want to I want to make sure that the um, that the suspension has as little uh, obstruction as possible. So with the current ver version of the game, you can do this for the suspension. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it on both sides like this. and so okay that is the framework the basic framework of your body now what we do here is we need to line it up where um, as you notice here that I, I put these uh, brackets here on the top side of the uh, of the chassis well you know of course it's to keep the the gravity the gravity the uh, center of gravity lower for the vehicle now what you're going to do is you're going to go three high and then come out you're going to come out two and what you're doing here is you're going to always use the inside you're going to build it off of the corner of the inside bracket okay like so there you go oops eh the problem is positioning sometimes too getting yourself in the position yes I don't normally have that problem in real life I'm fairly flexible alright so you, now you have your off-road suspension right what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take it off the jack so that the jack may be recentered and what we're going to do here is we're going to need some parts. Next few parts you're going to need is that uh, whatever material you're building, wood block. I like to use the uh, the pipe join, pipe joint T section. Uh, yeah, that should be about it. And then of course your wheels. Cool. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to build one down. We're gonna only. I'm gonna show you how to build the suspension, and then from there, the way you're gonna make the steering, and uh, basically the way you're gonna make your steering, and everything else is up to you. I'll show you all your options. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go on the outside, meaning facing front and facing back. On the outside, you see that you're gonna put bearings there, right? and then you're gonna go ahead and extend that out to just about 
<laughs> just, just about the hole. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. Like, like a show. Now, from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the T joint, the pipe T joint, and you're gonna rotate it properly, like so. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do all four. T joint. I like to use the T joint because the T joint offers less, uh, less friction, uh, more movement, shall we say? Because that's what you're gonna want. That's what you're gonna need. There you go. I mean, you can make this all out of pipes if you wanted to, but uh, uh, I didn't feel like it. I know so a lot of people like to make their suspension out of pipes. You can go ahead and do that. Ah, oh, the chair's in the way. Okay, the chairs are going to be in the way. So we'll take them out for now. Alright, and then there you go. This is your suspension. Okay, this is your suspension. Now, the way I like to make uh, the, uh, the actual car itself is by putting down putting the axle down it's up to you how far you want to bring your axle down but then I like to bring the axle down to about here the front axle to be about the front uh, level to the bottom of the chassis okay now one thing you're gonna need to do is that on the axles you're gonna actually have to need to make axles meaning put pipes or some kind of an extension for the wheels because what happens here is that uh when you steer oh wait a minute did i oh i did that wrong i did that wrong sorry about that i forgot to put uh steering bearings so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to put steering bearings and i like to put the steering bearings here on the actual sway bar as opposed to the um the actual suspension itself because what happens here is that when the car goes down the uh, the wheels get to uh, tilt out, flare out. I don't know. I've been hanging out, hanging around the girlfriend a little too much. Flare out, and I'll give you an example of that. Uh, actually, yeah. Let me put in a. Let me put in a chair. Now, what you're hearing right now is uh, music from the audio library uh, no copyright music or uh, YouTube channel where that it is actually the playlist and uh, I, I am not program I have not programmed the music in any special order okay so I want to do this just to lock the steering bearings for now okay do this see that now now that the car is down the uh, the wheels get to tilt out like that because the axles are connected to the uh, the sway bars so that's what you got I like that I kind of like that I like the look at the same time it, it doesn't really help actually what happens is that as as the uh, steering wheels the wheels that do steer, whether it be four, two or four, if they're tilted out like this, then it does cut down your steering radius a little bit. But if you want looks, then go ahead and do that. If you do this, then I recommend, if you can get used to it, uh, buggy steering, with uh, moon buggy steering, which is four wheel steering. Now, from here, uh, we get to do the back. The back, I like to. It's up to you on. It's up to you also as to how you want the style of the rear as well where that what we're gonna do here is just to make it look cool and wider we're gonna go down um, yeah we're gonna go down to connect uh, the supports to the uh, to the axles onto the sway bars so that they'll flare out what we're going to do here is we're adding four wheel steering because the wheels are going to flare out and when they flare out 
uh, like I said, they're going to cut down on your steering radius. So with four wheel steering, you'll get really sharp turns. And it's a little bit crazy to get used to, I'll admit. It's a little crazy to get used to, but then once you get used to it, it's a lot of fun. La 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 Okay, cool. And... Uh... We are done. All you have to do now is set your speed. Just make sure that you're, uh... What happened? I thought I connected it. I didn't connect it to the chair? No, I didn't. Haha. -ha. So... Now, what you're gonna do... Oh, all you have to do now is uh, name the buggy. There you go. It depends on how long you want to make. If you want to make it longer, you can go ahead and make it longer. Doesn't matter to me. Uh... For me, yeah, you're gonna probably need to make it longer depending on how heavy you're gonna make it. Because, as you can see here, the with the speed I had it on, the front end started to pick up. Now that's the one thing about this uh, this suspension glitch. With the, uh, the, sus the, the sway bar suspension that I made, it keeps the suspension from flexing in certain ways. So with it not flexing in certain ways, it... Uh, All the tilt forward, backwards, left and right on the vehicle is actually slowed down because the uh, the suspension doesn't get to flex in any other directions uh, except for inwards, which uh, keeps the uh, the the buggy in uh, in the stable form, stable stable position. So this is it. This is the suspension. The sway bar suspension buggy, one of them. With it uh, on this game save that I'm gonna I'm gonna have for download for you on the website, is uh, you have your single seater and your two different uh, your two different uh, two seaters. With it, this two seater is a little bit thinner than the one I made, and the one I made is the very wide buggy. So it depends on how you wanna mix it up. And, uh, you know, uh, configure everything, but they're all cool. I think they're all cool. Go ahead and have your own race uh, with these buggies. I would say start off uh, trying to learn how to drive these buggies, if, especially if you use four-wheel four -wheel steering. Um, learn it on a, a, a slow, slow speed first. And, uh, ooh, my ramp. I forgot about my ramp. Oh, jeez. You see that right there? The suspension does that. The suspension helps you do that. That is a great example right there. See that? The suspension helps you from flipping and everything. It forced, uh, the physics of the game forced the front end up, but then it gives you a chance to go ahead and stabilize, where that it, it helped keep me from flipping over. So, I don't know if it's, you can consider an anti-flip system, I don't think so. I think it's a stability system. But it's definitely sway bars. Oh! So, yeah. This is the wider version, so I'm still trying to get used to it with it. Uh, which buggy was it that was the fastest? I think this is the fastest one. This is, the one, this is my first one. This is the first model and they modified it how many different times. So it depends on uh, which, dim which dimensions you like and what speeds you like. Go ahead and download this, let me know. All I gotta do is, all I gotta do right now is thank you guys for spending time with me. Hopefully you liked it, let me know. Go ahead and hit the like button if you did. Go ahead and hit the dislike button if you didn't. If you didn't, if you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, please. Go ahead, you know, you can go ahead and hit the dislike button, but then at the same time, let me know why you didn't like it. Uh, I am always open. Mahula Brothers are always open to uh, creative, um, constructive, constructive criticism. We are always open to constructive criticism. So go ahead and do that. I thank you guys for spending time with me. 
I thank you for your love and support. We ask for your continued love and support by liking, favoriting, sharing, giving us those clicks, subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. If you do decide to describe, uh, if you do decide to subscribe when you haven't yet, then thank you. We thank you for that. So when I say share, yes, go ahead and share. Tell your folks, tell your friends, tell your non-friends, tell your frenemies, tell a complete stranger about the fun times you've had watching the Mahula Brothers and their fun times in recordings in video games. And as always, we ask that the powers that be keep you safe. Stay frosty, keep thirst, keep thirsty, stay frosty out there and be safe in the real world. Don't take any risks that we take for you in the virtual world so that you and your wallet doesn't have to. Thanks a lot, everybody.